A warm good morning to one and all. Achievements does not require extraordinary ability. Achievements come from ordinary abilities applied with extraordinary persistence. Award Conference Ceremony 2022. It's a new dawn, a new day. Be open enough to see opportunities, wise enough to be grateful, and courageous enough to be happy. Burke Entrepreneur's Day have always been an auspicious event of BIMS that stands to recognize innovation and endeavor of the deserving entrepreneur. Entrepreneurship is about turning what excites you in life into capital so that you can do more of it and move forward. Today will never happen again. So seize the wonder and uniqueness of today. Prayer is the most important conversation of your day. And it is a man's greatest power. Channel of your peace, whether is it let me bring your love, whether is injury or pardon, Lord, and whether still true faith in you, make me a channel of your peace. Whether despair in life, let me bring hope. Whether is darkness only light, and whether sadness ever joy. O Master, grant that I may never see so much to be consoled as to console. To be understood as to understand, to be loved as to love with all my soul. Make me a channel of your peace. Whether it's a trial, let me bring your love. Whether it's injury or pardon, Lord. And may the star true faith in you. Please be seated. We are all immortal as long as our stories are told. Here we have for you the lineage of the entrepreneurs adorned by us over the years. Please watch.
In this land of high quality latex, it was our obvious choice to venture into processing and it turned out to be a great success. Today, the Senex produced by us are a hot favorite in both national and international markets. We export to countries like Germany, USA, Turkey, Egypt, France, Italy, Spain, UAE and Brazil. We have come a long way and the road ahead for SMR is to emerge as one of the world's leading glove manufacturers. requesting the dignitaries to proceed to the dais and occupy their seats. All the ideas are heard. Requesting Mr. Sony Joseph, Head, Department of MBA, for the welcome address. Warm greetings from Berkman Institute of Management Studies to the August audience. Respect our principal S.B. College, Reverend Father G.P. Korean. Our guest of honor, Mr. R. Madhavishandran, former president KMA, Vice Principal, Dr. Benny Matthew, Reverend Father Mohan Matthew, Bursar S.B. College, Buck Embassy Year 2022, Mr. Sunny Jacob, Birthday Initiative 2022, Mr. Francis Davy, Aluminium Entrepreneur 2022, Mr. Jimmy Joseph, Noiva Embrasa Winners 2022, Dr. Thomas Fergis, Director Beams, Faculty Coordinators of Book Entrepreneurs Day, Ms. Annie Chako, Mr. Binsai Sebastian, Reverend Father Simon Sambikila, and Ms. Marlene B. Joseph, Faculty Colleagues, 
guest invitees, media, office staff, student coordinators of Book Entrepreneurs Day, and media students. A very good morning. It's indeed a great privilege to welcome the distinguished audience at the Book Ambassador of Entrepreneurs Day 2022 award conferral ceremony. BIMS has ever acknowledged people who have within them the strength, the patience, and the passion to reach them for the stars to change the world. From its inception, BIMS stands by the fact that if someone goes out of their way to make a difference in the lives of others, they need recognition. Ideas and not battles mark the forward progress of mankind. BIMS honors entrepreneurs who have marked their prominence in Kerala as successful business leaders with positive thinking and optimism as a strategy for success. BIMS is the only business school which has been honoring great entrepreneurs in Kerala for the last 26 years consecutively. Successful entrepreneurs who are dedicated, driven, focused and goal-oriented will motivate the students and the participants to mark milestones in business endeavors. The August gathering is about to be a witness to the recognition of eminence and excellence in individuals who have proved themselves as a class beyond compare. I take this moment to congratulate you all. Principal SP College, Ron Father Raji P. Kurian, is the strength and guiding light of BIMS in his strive to success and achievement. On behalf of the gathering, I extend an affectionate welcome to you, Father. Our guest of honor for the day is Mr. R. Madhav Chandiran, former person KMA. He is a true leader who leaves a trail in all fields that he touches, leaving his indelible marks in many halls of fame. While being the honorary secretary and later the president of Kerala Management Association, he helped in catapulting KMA to be one of the happening places in the domain of management and even won the best local management association award of IMA for KMA. Founded in 1957, Kerala Management Association is an elite, elite organization of Kerala, spearheading the management movement. One among the first batches of computer science and engineering when it was introduced in the 1980s, and having specialized in business management, Mr. Chandiran worked with IT majors, HCA Limited and Tata Consultancy Services during his early part of the professional career. He had a fast-track career growth as a professional, reaching leadership positions in a short period of eight years. Mr. Chandran left a plush position at his years as his marketing manager in his headquarters to take a plunge as an entrepreneur, starting the Cyberland group of companies in 1998. Cyberland became the first internet cafe of the state and only the second in the country way back in 1998, a time while cyber war was just getting unfurled in the country. Mr. Chandran believes in creating new leaders and developing entrepreneurship around him. And all his colleagues at the group companies are now co-owners with him, leaving him enough space to share his time and talent in very many social and philanthropic domains. Being the honorary secretary of his dream project, Cancure Foundation, founded in 2007 by him and his close friends, Mr. Chandran has positioned the foundation as one to reckon with in the domain of cancer care. Mother was also elected unanimously as the district governor of Rotary International District 3201, spanning across the state of Kerala and Tamil Nadu for the year 2019-20. As the governor of District 3201, he backed the number one position, the zone and number 20 in the world for TRF contributions by collecting $1.28 million during his term. A much sought after organizer, speaker, trainer, mentor, and leader, we are indeed privileged to have you as a guest of honor for the Book Embassy 2022 Awards ceremony. On behalf of the BINS fraternity, I extend a gracious welcome to you, sir. BIMS takes pride to honor Mr. Sonny Jacob, MD St. Mary's Suburbs Private Limited, as the Book Entrepreneur of the Year, Book Embassador 2022. SMR is the largest and reputed manufacturer and exporter of letters, surgical, gynecological, and examination gloves based in Kanjarapalli since 2002. The company has now emerged as the top processor and exporter of centrifuge letters in India. 
They believe in delivering quality final products, gaining trust and spreading fame throughout their privileged customers. SMR was promoted by Mr. Sunny Jacob, who has been in the field of rubber trade and processing for the past 20 years. As an enthusiastic entrepreneur, he started a dealership business of rubber and during this period, he studied the scenario of rubber industry and understood its diversified fields and opportunities. It gives me immense pressure to accord a genial welcome to the entrepreneur of the year, to this ceremony. Welcome Mr. Sunny Jacob and family. Birth Day in this year 2022, Birth Center Power is conferred upon Mr. Francis Davy and Mr. Bastin Thomas, Linways Technologies Private Limited. Linways is a fully hosted, cost effective, and innovative learning management system which provides centralized and automated administration. It's a non conventional method which supports collaborative learning, creating and delivering learning materials, generating reports, student notifications, etc. It has inculcated robust strategies to empower the educators, which in turn will empower the world. We are pleased to have Mr. Francis Davy, one of the directors of Linways Technologies Private Limited, who received the award. Please join me to extend a warm welcome to Mr. Francis Davy. Mr. Jimmy Joseph, founder of Can Europe Studies and Options Abroad, is the book The Eliminus 2022. He belongs to the 97-99 batch. Can Europe Studies and Options Abroad is an overseas education form. It's a one-stop solution for all the international education needs. It helps to bring overseas education within reach through its extensive network of universities across the globe. BIMS Fraternity, a warm welcome to you, Mr. Jimmy Joseph and family. I would also like to welcome the winners of the book, Noiva Embrasa, the book Business Plan Competition. Welcome. <laughs> Director BIMS, Dr. Thomas Varghese, endorses his presence in the success of every event at BIMS. On behalf of the gathering, I extend a genial welcome to you, sir. Faculty coordinators of Book Entrepreneurs Day 2022, Ms. Annie Chako, Dr. Binsai Sebastian, Reverend Father Sigmund Sambikil, and Ms. Marlene B. Joseph were instrumental in making of this day. I extend a hearty welcome to you. A warm welcome to my faculty colleagues for all their supports. Welcome all. I extend an amiable welcome to all the guest invitees to this function. A warm welcome to the media who have been present here. I also welcome the office staff to this gathering. The student coordinators of Book Entrepreneurs Day 2022, Ms. Anne Mary Matthews and Anju Krishna, led the entire team efficiently to success. A warm welcome to you. <laughs> Last but not the least, an affectionate welcome to my dear students for their active participation in making this event a memorable one. Once again, welcome all. I remain. Thank you, sir. And on behalf of all of us gathered here, we are called a genial welcome to you. Every day is a new beginning. There's always something good coming. Some painful, some painless, but all are priceless. Calling upon Miss Anne Mary Matthews and Miss Anju Krishna, student coordinators of Burke Entrepreneurs Day to deliver the common cue. Oh God, we beseech your presence. Honorable dignitaries on the dais, faculty members, ladies and gentlemen, a very warm good morning. On this auspicious occasion, as BIM celebrates its 28 years of unquestionable legacy in management studies, I am honored to present the communic of Burke Embrasario 2022. We were on the lookout for someone who stood apart from the rest of the kind in all his endeavors in terms of entrepreneurship, 
financial performance, perseverance and persistence. The quest started off by collection of database of entrepreneurs from KSIDC, Industries Department, Dhanam Publications and other business periodicals. We went through several nominations with a well-defined criteria to select the best. Some inevitable requirements included the entrepreneur should be a Keralaite, the main business should be established in Kerala, the turnover of over rupees 100 crores in three preceding financial years and more than 100 employees and there should be an experience for more than 15 years. Entrepreneur Award A team of 10 students collected organizational data on a scheduled basis. Our internal committee of faculty and students scrutinized the data and shortlisted five entrepreneurs. An expert panel further investigated and handpicked the winner of the year. It is indeed our delight to confer the award upon Mr. Sunny Jacob, Burke Embrasario, 2022. St. Mary's Rubbers Private Limited has its footprints as top processor and exporter of centrifuge latex in India. Mr. Sunny Jacob has been in the field of rubber trade and processing for the last 20 years and the company was incorporated on 17th October 2002. The major activity of the company is procurement of field latex in ammoniated form and concentrating it by the centrifuging process to various grades of centrifuge latex. St. Mary's Rubbers Private Limited is the largest and reputed manufacturer and exporter of latex surgical and glouses under the brand name MedSmart. Their commitment to quality of product and reliability in services gained unparalleled reputation among the manufacturers. BIMS Fraternity congratulates you, sir. <laughs> Startup Award. It is not about ideas. It's about making ideas happen. Startups are the newborn entities in the business world and are on the increase in the new ecosystem. BIMS Fraternity decided to honor the Startup of the Year from 2016. The student coordinators of the team identified the best startup from Kerala according to the criteria mentioned as follows. The promoter should be a Keralaite. The major operation should be in Kerala. It should not exceed 10 years after incorporation. Process. Our internal committee scrutinized the data and shortlisted five startups out of which the best startup of the year was selected. This year, the Bed D Initio 2022 goes to Mr. Bassin Thomas, CEO, Mr. Francis Kirakuran Devi, COO, Linvis Technologies Private Limited. <laughs> Linvis Technologies Private Limited is a software an app company headquartered in Kochi, Kerala. It is incorporated in the year 2013. Linvase is a cloud-based learning platform provider for higher educational institution and it is an innovative academic management system that provides centralized and automated administration services. They simplify all the managerial tasks of an institution with academic management system. Linvise initially started as a document sharing platform like YouTube, further it modified to a concept of a learning management system which is helpful for educational institutions. BIMS Fraternity congratulates you, sir. <laughs> Alumni Entrepreneur of the Silver Jubilee Batch. This year, Mr. Jimmy Joseph, CEO, Can Europe Studies and Options Abroad, is selected as the Berg D. Alumnus. Mr. Jimmy Joseph is from the fourth batch of BIMS and he did his MBA during the year 1998 to 2000. He is a creative person with a vision. He never gets distracted and firmly believes that 
there is absolutely no need to be the biggest brand in the world. You must start working on what you need for the present moment first and then what you need to do tomorrow. His motto in life is to set himself management goals. BIM's fraternity congratulates you, sir. <laughs> Business plan competition. Good intentions might sound nice, but it's positive actions that matter. As part of Berg Empresario 2022, business plan competition was conducted. Process. Initially, our internal committee invited colleges from inside and outside Kerala to participate in the business plan competition. 22 abstracts for the business plan were received and 11 entries were shortlisted by our internal committee or faculty for the next round. From the 11 full business plans, Five plans were shortlisted for the final round presentation at BIMS, which happened today, 11 November 2022. The winners for the business plan competition will be announced soon. BIMS fraternity congratulate to all the participants. <laughs> BIMS fraternity express sincere gratitude to all the dignitaries on and of the dais. Principal, Reverend Father Reggie P. Kurian. Director, Dr. Thomas Verghese. Head of the department, Professor Sony Joseph. All other faculty members and non-teaching staff for their generous support. A word of sincere gratitude to the award coordinators, Dr. Binsai Sebastian, Ms. Merlin B. Joseph, Reverend Father Sigmund Shambikal, Ms. Annie Chako, faculty BIMS for their valuable guidance and support all throughout the process. I take this opportunity to thank Ms. Anne Mary Matthews, the co-chairperson of Berg Empresario for her vital support and contribution to make this event a grand success. I am extremely in depth to the core team of Berg Empresario 2022. Ms. Maria Joseph, Ms. Elizabeth Joseph, Ms. Femi Ann Joseph, Ms. Amrita B. Nath, Ms. Ashna Jalil, Ms. Emily Matthew, Ms. Leia Michael, Ms. Nida Anna Jiji, Ms. Pravida Prasad, Ms. Reema Robin, Ms. Shabna Sakir, Ms. Tenny George, Ms. Tania Thomas, Mr. Iptisam Hasib, Mr. Kevin Joseph, Mr. Donald Siji, Mr. Agil Vergis, Mr. Nitu K. Nainan, Mr. Alex Matthew, Mr. Junaid Shah, Mr. Wagi Sunni, and Ms. Alana Mariam Biju. This would never have been so wonderful and colorful without all your deliberate participation. The spirit of teamwork has kept us going every step of the way with confidence and courage. I also express my appreciation to the juniors of 28th batch for their support. I extend my sincere thanks to the task force that has worked immensely alongside and behind the scenes. Immense gratitude to all who made Berg Empresario 2022 Entrepreneur's Day ceremony memorable and delightful. Thank you, Lord, for being with us. Thank you once again and have a great day. Thank you. Being a good leader isn't about having power over others, but instilling power in others. Requesting a very reverend Father Reggie Pigurian, Principal SB College, to give the presidential address. Respected Mr. R. Madhav Chandran, the Chief Guest of the Day, Dr. Thomas Wagis, Director BIMS, Mr. Sony Joseph, <coughs> Head of the Department, BIMS, <coughs> Mr. Sunny Jacob, CEO, St. Mary's Rubbers Private Limited, Mr. Francis, CEO of Linways Technologies, and Mr. Jimmy Joseph, CEO, Can Europe Studies and Options Abroad, 
who are the stars of this day this day and respected faculty coordinators of burke empresario and respected student coordinators of burke burke empresario and my dear faculty members representatives and family members of this award winners and my dear loving students so good morning to you all i am very happy and proud to participate in this burke empresario award ceremony 2022 this is a very special moment for me and for beams also because this is the centenary year of our college and the award winners are in this way very special to st bertman's college as well as to beams and moreover we are conducting this function after this covid pandemic the heavy damage that caused by it to humanity and also human activities and to the industry industrial sector also thus we have thus here we acknowledge the great contributions of three great entrepreneurs in three levels one in the established one as an established entrepreneur the other one as in the uh, in the area of startups and the other one uh, our alumni entrepreneur as you all know kerala is always praised for its natural beauty hr index development and its highly political and rights demanding society but in another way its politics and the thinking pattern has its reverse impact on the industry or in entrepreneurship the flow of students to foreign countries are also to a certain extent we all know that because of this uh, mindset many are really worried about the future especially the youth are many really worried about the future and we are all very well globally connected and we all know all the options or the possibilities in a globalized world here comes the relevance of these great people who are honored here in this book empresario in this morning i just came to know about a student who is not from our campus but he is from very close he is from mallapalli and his name is najib and the speciality why i mention him is that he is the owner of sara biotech that is located in kochi but he is from mallapalli that person now he is doing his pg program now and his product is very special that is why i mention about him uh, his product is a biscuit and what is the speciality of that biscuit he hails from the uh, department of biotechnology and he uses that capacity to develop a product or innovate uh, innovative product for the society and that product is biscuit algae fudge based biscuit that means uh, rich protein content is there he just started it and he has presented it in uh, gaitex global that is a you know you all know about that platform and he is funded with 75 crores now he just thought of a biscuit and that too is in his domain 
and he has succeeded in producing or in coming up with this product. So that is the way we all should think to that means they, here we have idea developers are also here they are all, all they are also honored here today so we all think like that way and i just mentioned his name because i was just inspired by hearing that person's success story you must understand that he is doing his pg now but he is funded off with 75 crores of rupees for this uh, uh, for his product and to establish it as an industry so you all must be inspired these type of persons who are sitting here and uh, we are very much inspired by your persons mr sunny jacob st mary's uh, robbers private limited who is well known that is presented here now he who is well known for the quality of the products that is the speciality for him or that is the speciality why we uh, give him award and the another one birthday initiative yeah that is mr francis is here he is known to me for more than 5 uh, years i think it is yeah it is for we are also their clients that means st bergman's college is all, also their clients and they also have come up with a new idea and another one mr jimmy jimmy is uh, a friend of me because uh, from uh, i was also doing my pg program in 98 2000 and jimmy was also doing his pg program that means mba here when i was doing my pg here so we are very close in uh, such a way that uh, that means class not classmates but much batch mates yeah so congratulations to both uh, all of you and we are really proud of honoring you this in this birk embrasario once again i congratulate you for winning this award i remain thank you thank you father determination gives you the resolve to keep going in spite of the roadblocks that lay before you we are very fortunate to have the honorable chief guest mr r madhav chandran with us he was the president of kerala management association during the years 2020 2022 and also one of the founders and honorary secretary of Kangaroo Foundation a leading NGO in the domain of cancer care he is also an active member of regional sports center Kerala Fine Arts Society Cochin Gymkhana Club and also Freemason being the district governor of Rotary International Mr Chandran is a visionary who envisages a better future with the aim to equip the youth of the country he is an entrepreneur who started Cyberland group of companies in 1998 he left his plus position at TCS as its marketing manager pioneering the setting up of exclusive cyber cafes in this part of the world mr chandran went on to set up 28 franchises of cyberland in kerala in a span of 2 years over the years keeping abreast with the trends in the technology the group concentrated its focus to turn the key networking projects now cyberlan and linknet are leading it organizations in kerala engaged in providing computer networking products and solutions to corporate clients and computer resellers let me now request mr r madhav chandran to address the gathering thank you for that uh, eloquent introduction most respected principal of this prestigious college reverend father raji p kurian director dr thomas wagis the stars of the day mr sunny jacob 
Mr. Bastian, Mr. Francis, Mr. Jimmy, and other respected uh, faculty members of this esteemed institution, Mr. Sony, Joseph, Mr. Binsai, Sebastian, other respected teachers and students and my dear friends. I deem it as a great privilege standing before you on this day because this being the 100th year of this very illustrious institution, being a chief guest on this occasion is a very proud moment for me. Sharing the dice with the lucky principal who is actually donning the chair during this year. I'm sure you'll be finding great personalities coming here to this institution during this year to celebrate this momentous occasion. And of course, sitting beside these successful entrepreneurs, business people who have made it big, made it uh, like a dream come true for themselves. And uh, recognizing them is definitely a privilege for me, I must say. I'm sure you're all having such dreams in your mind. That's why you've all joined this college too. You are one among the very few lucky who have actually done that journey of pursuing your dreams. We all like movies, right? All of you see movies. Jai, 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 hey. All of you have seen that? Yes, right? Yeah. Let's see the murmur of that. Uh, you all could relate uh, ourselves or very dear ones to that. I just saw the trailer actually yesterday night. That's why I just thought of that movie. We all relate to those scenes in our own homes, right? Yeah. So that's what it is. You know, the movies are actually, uh, in Malayalam, the world is called Parichedam, I think, you know of the socio-economic situations of a particular place, be it the Hindi movies, normally in India, Tamil movies, their own way of looking at life, and Kerala, of course. Most of the hit movies are a cut from the real lives, right? So if you look at it, you know, uh, the entrepreneurs sitting here also, if you look at the movies also, you must have heard about it. You know, like if you see the movies over the years, when we were studying in the 80s, 90s, 20s, uh, early 80s or other late 70s, it was all like entrepreneurs like villains, you know. They are the ones who are always suited, booted, and every hero is trying to, uh, you know, outlive that particular villain. And then, you know, if Jos Pragash or Eman Dambiar comes with a suit and a pipe, uh, they are real modalali, you know. Then slowly, you know, it, it started changing with the heroes becoming activists, like the Mohanlal's and Mamutis coming with the uh, Enard and in the layer, all kinds of movies were there, where you know we were actually fighting against the bourgeois or the the entrepreneurs again, you know the the real businessmen. Then came the 90s when the heroes themselves started doing business. You know they started the Varavil kind of movies, where you know it was actually showing the real situation in the in the state of Kerala, the difficulties faced by uh, an entrepreneur starting up a business. The Varavil movie is a classic on that. Slowly, the Varavil became the Midhunam, you know, the Dakshayani biscuit, don't forget about that. The kind of difficulties and the kind of issues which, uh, you know, the, the businessman faced there. From there, you know, slowly, the Mamutis and the Mohanlal started wearing suit and coat and, you know, became executives, they called themselves. They thought executive is something like a very celebrated name. He's an executive in that company kind of a thing. So they, that became something. And then we saw the Jomo and the Suvisha show, something like that, movies where these executives or the managing directors of big firms started failing and their sons actually coming up from behind and you know supporting them some sorgarajim or something like that movie was there where you know jacob and said you know you know it so so that's another you know example of something like that coming up and now in your era what we are seeing is that entrepreneurship is something like a fashionable thing suddenly everybody is looking up to entrepreneurship everyone wants to become entrepreneurs Startup entrepreneurship means, you know, it's something any MBA student in his final year is actually dreaming of, making it big like a baiju. And governments and society, everybody is giving garlands and bouquets to them. So in that kind of uh, situation, it's high time we look at that particular phase and see whether it is the right way to look at it or not. I, for one, was a startup entrepreneur when startup world was not even in vogue. That was in way back in 1998. I, now I know it was a startup. I started something, you know, as an IT businessman, if you can call it, in 1998. But now it is called a startup, and if I made it big, uh, you know, I would have got some awards at that point of time. But that time, you know, it was fighting with the sales tax people and other people, you know, to set up things there. Now you have a window, holiday, tax holidays, and all kinds of uh, uh, 
uh, one-stop shop where you can get all the licenses cleared without any papers to be submitted and all that. No, but then having said that, you know that hardly 0.5% of the startups make it big. 0.5%. That is, I'm not talking about the Baiju even. I mean, I'm not talking about the merits and demerits of Baiju, whether he is going to be there or not, it's a different issue. But then I'm talking about the big names. So what happens to the 99.5? That is something also we should look at. It is actually like climbing up a 40, 50 storied building, looking down and saying that, okay, one of them, you know, if you jump, you can be safe also because there is a pool of water there or a, maybe a cushioned surface down there. You fall on that, you escape. But 99.5 of them actually won't fall on that. One guy may fall on that. So now how do you, how do you protect yourself in such situations? That's what we should look at. Startup is not uh, anything bad. But we got to wear the real protective gears to actually succeed in that. That is what is an important thing which, as students, you must look at. I always felt that, as a student, I mean, it's up to you. I mean, there are obviously the Baiju sitting here, one or two could be there in this crowd also. I'm not underestimating their abilities or their talents. But I, for one, feel that you must have some experience. I can say, I forgot his name, uh, you know, Mr. Sunny's son is sitting there. Uh, he is doing his MBA. He has got, obviously, a chair waiting for him in his uh, empire, which is created by the father. But I would say he should go and work somewhere and get the real, real crux of what it is. Get refined and get, you know, smoothened with his rough edges and the crude edges. I mean, with all due respect to you, okay. I mean, must do that. Similarly, you people are equipped with a background, which is the illustrious SB College. And 27 years, congratulations, the director and the team. I wanted to say that, you know, it's 27, 28 years, I guess, right? 28th year and 27 awards given. That is something. Put your hands together for something. And even, even during the COVID times, 19, 20, 21, even the Rotary and all the movements actually actually came to a standstill during the time we have given the awards. So that's something. 28 years and 27 awards given away. And all, you know, most of them are good friends and all of them who is who of the industry. Wonderful college. So that college has given you more than the education part, a halo. A halo of, um, what, do you, what do you mean by an IAM alumni or a, you know, big, big school name like that, an alumni? Because it's giving you a halo. Similarly, SB College is giving you a halo. You have studied something, you have got a degree, equipped with a degree. But you got to actually face the realities in life. That is where, when you work somewhere, you actually get it at somebody's cost and get paid for that also. Whereas if you start something on your own, you're actually making it at your own cost, maybe at your own life. So basic point what I'm trying to say is that try to get equipped before making that jump, but at the same time, never ever leave your dream away from you. It is said that it's a pursuit for making the dreams come true that the life is becoming interesting, right? When you stop dreaming, you are dead. And none of you will get all your dreams coming true too. I mean, if all the dreams were coming true, then there is no life. That's the end of life. We don't have anything to dream for. So you keep dreaming, but at the same time, be prepared. And these are occasions when you get that kind of an experience, when you hear from successful entrepreneurs, successful individuals who have made it big, who have gone through it all, who have faced, I mean, it's not, it was not easy for the St. Mary's and the Sunnies to make it big and sit here, you know, as a proud person, as a recipient of this award. He must have faced a lot of difficulties, a lot of adversities, a lot of issues which must have plagued him during his, you know, growing years. After that, coming victorious is a great lesson learned. But you don't have to go through all that. You can at least learn from these lessons and find out what all things can be used from your strengths to actually excel in that. So in that context, in this particular situation where we are at the crossroads as far as the industry is concerned, the markets are concerned. Today I was just sitting there and watching this phone. The stock market has zoomed like anything, 1,000 plus points today. And what is the reason? Nobody knows, but it's going up today. The entire globe, uh, you know, actually economy is going down, Indian market is going up, and everybody is saying that by 2027, we are going to be number three. I mean, we are talking about 2020, uh, 2030 earlier, now we are talking about 2027, one trillion economy and all that. So opportunities are like anybody's business. It was not a time, like when we came out of the engineering colleges, you know, we had no idea as to where to join. Everybody's dream was to get, get and look for a government job like a sale or a, 
uh, you know, kind of a central government employee was uh, a dream position for any of us. But now you have so many choices. So many choices in India itself, in Kerala itself. If we had to go, we had to go abroad or maybe go somewhere else and get a job. But for you, it's not like that. But for that, you got to remain focused as to what is your strength. What is the inherent strength in you that only you can find out? Your teachers will help you to actually refine that and you know, smoothen it and show you that this is a highlight, this is a real talent which is there in you. Because any of these tests, any of these competitions, you saw two of them coming here and you know, explaining the whole thing about the Chronicle. Why others didn't come up? They got the chance today. But all of you must eye for the chance. Anywhere you are getting an opportunity to expose yourself in, with your talents and skills, do that. Never ever sit in the back row. Try to, you won't get it all the time, but try to push forward every time. It's all in you. All of us are born alike, right? When you look at a baby, you know, the baby cries alike. Babies, all the babies, you know, they sound alike. You look at them, you know, you can see the same kind of eyes also. But slowly, 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 the eyes changes, the sound changes, the mannerisms change. Everything changes. So what is happening? Basically, we ourselves are controlling our, our movements, our mannerisms, our attitudes, our ways of thinking, especially. So that is where the colleges, the teachers, everyone is actually trying to guide you to get that best out of you. And for that, you also got to cooperate. That's very important. So in that sense, when you, when you come to a college, keep your mind, keep your eyes and ears open so that you get the best out of you. You got, you're actually in a quest, in a, in, a, in a journey to find what is it that will make that dream which you have true using your own powers, which is within you. We are only harnessing that power from within and making the best out of it. So in this situation where things are favorable for you, favorable for the person who is actually in pursuit of that favorable thing, you got to understand and see whether you are on the right track or not. For each and every occasion like this, don't look at it as an occasion where Mr. Sunny is getting felicitated or others who are sitting here are getting felicitated, but you are learning from these moments and more inspired by their presence and their success stories. That is what you should look at. So always prepare yourself to take that plunge. I talked about the 40-story building, but when you are taking that plunge, be prepared to be equipped with the necessary aids for that. So that when you are taking a plunge, you are sure that, at least to some extent, from the lessons learned from all the successful entrepreneurs around you, you have actually prepared yourself so that the fall can be, if at all the fall happens and if it's going to hurt you, it won't kill you. It will at least you know, you know, give you a chance to have a second lease of life so that you can look up and get up and stand up and run again. So that is what you should have in mind. In, in a sense, uh, the industry and the market, the way it is going to greet you once you are finishing this, situations are all changing because if you look at the flight charges, it was 5,000 rupees average for a sector, now it's coming to 18,000 rupees to 15,000 rupees. You know, the market is changing, the costs are changing, the salaries are changing. Don't look at the salaries alone. What I'm trying to say is that when you're getting offers, you may get a lot of offers with, uh, you know, 40 plus, 50 plus and all kinds of per month salary also. But look at the background of the companies also. What you should look at when you are looking for a job at this particular stage is the kind of company which you are getting into. It is not the salary alone because you are in pursuit of getting a good foothold of your career as to how you want to aspire yourself with your dreams. So there you got to actually look at the background of the, the company where you are going to be in or the kind of work you are going to pursue rather than just the money alone. The money will come later because the, the situation is very conducive to all that. But in the beginning stages, when you are finishing your course, the final year students who are sitting here, when you are having your uh, campus selections or when you are applying for jobs after this, please don't look at the pay packet alone. Look at what you want to do, whether you will be comfortable in that particular environment and whether that company itself is strong enough to actually guard you and your future. And when you go to some other opportunity or some other avenue, whether that background will help you or not is what you should look at. So money will be secondary in that as far as students are concerned. So please have a look at that also. And please keep all the opportunities coming your way because opportunities will not come twice. Grab each one of them. That is the thumb rule of a successful person. Opportunities come to each one of us. But we may shy away from that. We may feel a kind of, uh, you know, 
inhibitive nature we may show by not grabbing it, grab it. You can do it. Even if you fail, it doesn't matter. At least you attempted. That's very important. So most of us actually, uh, you know, kind of pull ourselves back in a situation because of the fear of failure. There's nothing, nothing new. It's, it's common to all of us. I mean, whether it is a uh, 40-year-old uh, entrepreneur, 40-year experienced entrepreneur or, or a fresher, that fear of failure will be there. Don't have it. Keep that in your mind as to, you know, I am not going to be afraid of that kind of setbacks. Even if I fall, it's okay. I mean, it's fine. I'll, I'll learn something new from that. So please embrace all opportunities with both hands, irrespective of whether you are going to fail or succeed. You try to succeed, but then if you fail, it's okay. It's like the you know eagle and the chicken's egg story. Have you heard about that? One, one story of uh, an eagle having a nest on top of a mountain. There was this mountain and the, you know, the eagles actually go and lay eggs at the top of the mountains. Very, very high peaks, they go and lay eggs. This particular eagle, you know, one eagle was there and it lay an egg. Uh, three eggs were there actually. And then came a tremor, a kind of an earthquake. And the nest was actually damaged and one egg rolled down from the mountain top and came to the valley. And there was a chicken nest there, a kind of a hen's farm was there. And this egg was, got mixed up with the, with the hen's egg. And the hen, without knowing that there's an eagle's egg, actually kept it along with the other eggs and hatched it. And there came an uh, eagle chickling along with the chicken. And uh, the eagle chickling never knew that it is a, it's actually an eagle's chickling. It, it actually grew up with the, the, the chicken, the hen chicklings, and you know, they grew up and started going around and taking food and walking around. And every time it was growing up, it used to look up and see eagles flying up in the sky. And it wanted to fly up because inherently it is an eagle. But then the others around the, the eagle chickling used to say that, no, no, you cannot do that because you are a chicken. You cannot fly high. And it used to just look up and then look down and go around with the chicken. It went on like that. It, it lived the life of a hen and died as a hen. The what prevented it from becoming an eagle? It had everything in him. It was because it looked around and saw that I am around chicken and I'm comfortable being a chicken. So each one of us have that in us to become an eagle. It's a question of how you look at it, how your surroundings actually support you, and how you derive the strength out of that. So always look up and believe that you are an eagle and not a chicken. So all the very best to become the eagles who will soar high in the sky. And let this be a year for the final years especially, a turning point in your life when you take the right decisions to make your career a success story and make your dreams come true so that your life will be worth a legacy which is supposed to be. All the best and God bless you. Thank you, sir, for your golden words. Future belongs to those who believe in the beauty of their dreams. Think positive, be positive, and positive things will happen. Inviter, Inviting Dr. Thomas Vergis, Director, BIMS, to address the gathering. Good morning to all. Respected Reverend Father Rajip Kurian, Principal of SB College and the President of the Function, Sri R. Matho Chandran, former President of KMA, a pioneer entrepreneur of the state, and a person involved in varied activities in multiple roles. The Entrepreneur of the Year, Sunny Jacob Sir. The Startup Award winner, Mr. Francis Devi. Alumni, entre alumnus entrepreneur, Jimmy Joseph. Winners of today's business plan competition. My dear faculty colleagues, dear students. On this day, when we are celebrating the entrepreneurial spirit, we remember and recall the positive changes brought to this world by hundreds of entrepreneurs over the centuries. It is, the world is what today it is, not because of the 99% of the people who thought alike, but because of the 1% which thought different. Let it be the Edison's, the famous people like the Rockefellers, Henry Ford's, Tata's, Kirloskas, 
they brought change because they were willing to take a risk they looked for opportunities they created opportunities and built upon that had the opportunity to be in kirloskar wadi in maharashtra several times a small village actually should say thanks to kirloskar's family which built up that place built a big entrepreneur entrepreneurial system there established big factories provided employment to thousands we have such several ex experiences in india like gd naidu in coimbatore we talk about gd naidu muttu suji mudal motor car vare the entrepreneurs changed the world so this entrepreneur spirit like when to, uh, when uh, henry ford declared i have a dream and that dream is to see every american having a car and he built a massive production line for that that was the entrepreneurial spirit at highest and today car is there everywhere in the 20th century united states of america became a world power replacing the great britain because of the entrepreneurial culture because of the people in a free land where economic systems supported that research and development oriented towards that and there was huge financial resources available so in india which claims to have the highest academic caliber which claims to have top executives globally which claims to have its people studying in the biggest universities of the world why are we lacking what are we lacking why are we behind probably as a passing comment came the economic system or the support we are getting giving of course we are hoping and praying the governments will change its attitude a culture will come like the government the prime minister narendra modi ji has said has said entrepreneurial culture should be developed students and younger generation should not be employment seekers but rather employment providers this culture will spread this is where peter drucker becomes relevant it is not a lack of ideas but attitudes ability and systems to convert innovative ideas in the product or the service or the physical form that is holding us back ideas when converted to real products or service we mark the birth of an entrepreneur this is this is normally a painful process requiring sustained patient efforts sometimes leading to failed attempts thus a successful entrepreneur is the outcome of a series of struggles and once successful he contributes to society by multiple ways he provides when we are talking to sunny sir we have came to know that 4000 families are dependent on some or other way in that organization called st mary's rubbers what else can you give back to the society which has given you much i we appreciate that spirit matlavark vendi avasarangal create cheyuga 4000 families run because of one entrepreneur coming up with a project that requires a salute by adding new products and services that enhance our daily life it was this entrepreneurship of different people that changed our world that living standards changed the primitive life moved to today's modern life because of a series of developments that happened in the industry in the society by handful of people next by being motivators motivators and role models the students who are sitting here are looking at these people sitting on the dais and dreaming one day i will sit there and deserve to sit there this motivation this role model they are coming up is definitely a contribution that they are making to society by being being value creators to a national economy india is supposed to become a great economic power one day definitely we will replace china and america and will become number one but for that we need to create wealth that wealth creation has to happen through the younger generation of today so therefore when we are honoring a few people here we remember the struggles they went through the sleepless night they would have spent worried about taxes to pay the money to pay for the next month's salary the products how they are going to market because markets are very volatile in this they would have definitely spent 
nights without sleep we respect that i use this opportunity to place on record berkman institute of management studies appreciation and sb college appreciation for the entrepreneurs on being honored here mr sunny jacob mr francis devi and mr jimmy we wish you all the best and we thank you once again for being here with us motivating us and sharing your valuable time with us thank you sir best wishes <laughs>
Mr. R. Madhav Chandran to present the award to Mr. Francis Kirakodan Devi, representing Linways Technologies Private Limited. I request Mr. Francis Devi to receive the award. Thank you, sir. BIMS always acknowledges its alumni for their significant contributions in the field of business. <coughs> Birthday Alumnus is the award we gave for the alumni entrepreneur of BIMS. Today, we have Mr. Jimmy Joseph, founder and CEO of Can Europe Studies and Options Abroad, as the Birthday Alumnus 2022 Alumni Entrepreneur of the Year. Mr. Joseph belongs to the fourth batch of BIMS. His vision and focus help to foster the growth of Can Europe, which serves young minds of our nation. Can Europe Studies and Options Abroad is a unique overseas education firm headquartered in Tiruvella. It is a one-stop solution for all international education needs. Can Europe brings overseas education within reach through an extensive network of universities across the globe. We are very delighted to invite Mr. Jimmy Joseph to receive Birthday Alumnus 2022 Alumni Entrepreneur of the Year Award. I request Reverend Father Reggie Pikurian, Principal SB College, to hand over the award. Thank you. Our generation of innovators are truly the key to this creative world, and it's us who need to believe in them and celebrate them. I take this opportunity to appreciate all the 22 teams who have come up with their amazing business ideas, out of which we have shortlisted five finalists for the day. After the highly competitive presentations, now it's time to announce the winners. Requesting Reverend Father Reggie P. Kurian, Principal, SB College, to hand over the prizes. The second runners up of business plan competition is St. Gitts College of Engineering, Kotea. <laughs> Let me invite the team members of St. Gitts to receive the prize. The mem uh, team members are Sheljo Siti, V. Swadi Shashidharan, and Srijal B. Nair. I'm sorry, Alfie Joseph. Team member is Alfie Joseph. We have SP College Changna Shiri as a runners up for the competition. I welcome the team to the stage. The team members are Ashwin George, Sherwin Baiju.
And finally, let's have the title winners of Berknoa Embrasa 2022, the business plan competition. And the award goes to Cochin University of Science and Technology. I congratulate Shelzo City, V. Swadi Shashidharan, and Srijal B. Nair, the team members of the team. Congratulations to the winners and thank you, Father. Entrepreneur of the Year, Mr. Sunny Jacob, feels this award is an outcome of collective effort of the company. So organization as a whole would like to express the gratitude. Let me welcome Mr. James Thomas, General Manager of SMR, to deliver the reply speech. A very good afternoon to all. Respected dignitaries on the dais, dear teachers and uh, young entrepreneurs, CEOs, GMs of future. I'm so happy to be here and uh, really energized uh, by the talks of uh, our chief guest. It was so motivating and uh, I could see a lot of eagles sitting in front of me uh, with uh, super wings. So this is a golden opportunity and uh, for St. Mary's it's a proud moment. While we were coming from uh, Kanyarapalli, Sanisar was detailedly telling the journey till this seat. To be very honest with you, it was not an easy journey through real hardships. And uh, he was not from a business background, in fact, from an agricultural uh, background. But with the determination and the vision, let me be very precise, the vision has brought the company to this level. We as a family, as Sir was mentioning, it's, it's a family of more than 4,000 sub-families which has gone to this level and uh, we know all, we all know that during the pandemic period everything was locked up we were all sitting in the inside walls but saint mary's doors were open and you know that that was the time when uh, we became more popular and you might have come to know through media about saint mary's the gloves manufactured which was exported to various countries and we are, we are so elated and uh, proud at this moment to get this award on the 100th year of this prestigious institution. We all know that uh, Changnasheri is known for, famous for two things. One is SB College and the second is Parel Palli. We all uh, know that. The same way, uh, we all, uh, many people ask us what is the success behind or why you keep St. Mary's as the brand name. There is also a story behind it. As you have Parapalli here, we have uh, Akarapalli in Kanjirapalli, which is devoted and dedicated to Mother Mary. And uh, Sanisar being a strong, pious devotee of St. Mary from his childhood, kept the name of St. Mary's for all his uh, business institutions. So when we go abroad or wherever, this brand name, people tend to ask us why the secret behind it. So I would like to give a small advice to my young entrepreneurs. Though you have all the facilities, plus points, but on top of everything, there should be a blessing from Almighty. 
you may be intelligent you may be financially sound you may have the contacts everything but on top of everything the divine blessing we have seen many industries coming up like uh, mushrooms and then fading away like uh, in a matter of sp- uh, small time but the journey of st mary's has been long persistent consistent and the major factor behind is the uh, belief and the trust in god so i would like to tell all of you to be truth to be truthful to you truthful to god so that you will be successful i would like to once again thank the mba faculty of sb college for awarding us this uh, 100th year centenary award basically the best entrepreneur award and as the presenter and uh, i appreciate the students who had visited us uh, recently and maria anshu for their uh, excellent presentation about our company and uh, thank you dear all for the this wonderful opportunity thank you very much thank you sir for your inspiring words now let's hear from mr francis devi coo linways technologies private limited on his journey as a startup entrepreneur so hi all yeah first of all i would like to thank you all for giving us uh, such an opportunity uh, i would like to thank principal and father reji uh, director thomas sir uh, and all the members behind this event so regarding our startup journey we start with two member team uh, and now we have grown uh, to 60 plus members so this happened only with the support uh, and the guidance from our customers and our team that is our employees were our uh, real strength so from the beginning uh, uh, we, uh, with some of the struggles we got uh, one client before uh, when we started we have zero clients so uh, with some struggles we got one client with that client um, uh, um, we have uh, created one application called uh, ams so adayid starting le nammal oru document sharing de oru app ayirun nammal create cheyidirunnathu then adu actually nammal cheyidittulla endo vachane students nu venditte sadharana illa avarku arayallo nammal ella students aayirun samayathu notes nammal parishara thala divasa irikkum nammal namukku avashyam vara illa avarku arayallo adhe appo njangalo adu pole kethane irun notes പരീക്ഷയുടെ തലേ ദിവസമായിരുന്നു ഞങ്ങൾ അന്വേഷിച്ചിരുന്നത് അപ്പോൾ അപ്പോൾ ഞങ്ങൾക്കൊരു കാര്യം മനസ്സിലായി നമുക്ക് നോട്ട്സ് കിട്ടുന്നതിൻ്റെ ഒരു അവൈലബിലിറ്റി ഒരു പ്രോബ്ലം ആയിട്ട് നമുക്ക് ഫീൽ ചെയ്തു ആ ഒരു പ്രോബ്ലത്തിൽ നിന്നാണ് ഞങ്ങളൊരു ഡോക്യുമെൻറ്റ് ഷെയറിങ് എന്ന് പറയുന്ന ഒരു ഒരു ആപ്പിനെ കുറിച്ച് ഞങ്ങൾക്ക് ഒരു ഐഡിയ വന്നത് അപ്പോൾ മിസ്റ്റർ ബാസ്റ്റിൻ അവർ സി ഇ ഒ ഹി ഈസ് ദ ഫൗണ്ടർ ആളാണ് ഈ ഐഡിയ ഷെയർ ചെയ്തത് ഞാനുമായിട്ട് ഞങ്ങൾ രണ്ടുപേരും കൂടിയാണ് ആ ഒരു ആപ്ലിക്കേഷൻ ഇനീഷ്യലി ഡെവലപ്പ് ചെയ്തത് ബട്ട് അത് നമ്മൾ പല ഇൻസ്റ്റിറ്റ്യൂഷൻസിനെയും നമ്മൾ ആ ഐഡിയ കാണിച്ചിരുന്നു പക്ഷേ ഇൻസ്റ്റിറ്റ്യൂഷൻസിൻ്റെ നീഡ്സ് എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് മറ്റ് കുറച്ച് നീഡ്സ് ആയിരുന്നു അപ്പോൾ നമ്മൾ അതിനെക്കുറിച്ച് മാർക്ക് സ്റ്റഡി നടത്തി അതിനെ അതിൻ്റെ റിക്വയർമെൻറ്റ്സ് എല്ലാം കളക്ട് ചെയ്ത് അതിനോട് ബന്ധപ്പെട്ട് ഒരു അക്കാഡമിക് മാനേജ്മെൻറ്റ് സിസ്റ്റം എന്ന് പറയുന്ന ഒരു ആപ്ലിക്കേഷനിലേക്ക് നമ്മൾ ഫീവർട്ട് ചെയ്തു ഓക്കെ ദെൻ അത് നമ്മൾ ആദ്യം നമ്മൾ സപ്പോർട്ട് ചെയ്ത ഒരു ക്ലയൻറ്റിനെ നമ്മളത് കൊടുത്ത് അവരത് യൂസ് ചെയ്ത് അവരിൽ നിന്ന് നമുക്ക് കൂടുതൽ കൂടുതൽ റിക്വയർമെൻറ്റ്സ് കിട്ടി അത് വീണ്ടും നമ്മൾ ബിൽഡ് ചെയ്ത് അത് സ്റ്റേബിളാക്കി ആ ഒരു ക്വാളിറ്റിയിൽ നിന്ന് ആ കസ്റ്റമർ തന്നെയാണ് നമുക്കൊരു മറ്റ് കസ്റ്റമേഴ്സിലേക്ക് നമുക്കൊരു വഴി തുറന്നു തന്നത് അതായത് ആക്ച്വലി അവർ കസ്റ്റമേഴ്സ് ആർ അവർ ബെസ്റ്റ് അഡ്വർട്ടൈസേഴ്സ് സോ അങ്ങനെ ഒരു ആക്ച്വലി ഞങ്ങൾക്കൊരു മാർക്കറ്റിംഗ് സ്ട്രാറ്റജി ഒന്നും ഉണ്ടായിരുന്നില്ല ഇനീഷ്യലി നമ്മുടെ ക്വാളിറ്റിയുടെ ബേസിലാണ് ഒരു കസ്റ്റമർ മറ്റൊരു കസ്റ്റമേഴ്സിനെ റെഫറൻസ് തന്ന് അങ്
സ്ലോലി ഗ്രോ ചെയ്തത് ഓക്കെ കസ്റ്റമേഴ്സിൻ്റെ ഒരു സപ്പോർട്ട് തന്നെയാണ് നമ്മൾ ഇതുവരെയുള്ള ജേണിയിൽ ഞങ്ങൾക്ക് എൻകറേജ്മെൻറ്റും ആയിട്ടുള്ളത് അതിന് ഹെൽപ്പ് ചെയ്യാനായിട്ട് നമുക്ക് നല്ല കുറച്ച് എംപ്ലോയീസിനെയും നമുക്ക് കിട്ടി വളരെ നല്ലൊരു സ്ട്രോങ് ടീമായിട്ട് നമുക്ക് ബിൽഡ് ചെയ്യാൻ പറ്റി അതുകൊണ്ടാണ് നമുക്ക് കൂടുതൽ എംപ്ലോ കൂടുതൽ കസ്റ്റമേഴ്സിനെ നമുക്ക് എക്വർ ചെയ്യാൻ പറ്റിയത് നേരത്തെ സാറ് സൂചിപ്പിച്ച പോലെ ഓരോ സമയത്തും ഓരോരോ പ്രോബ്ലംസ് നമ്മൾ ഫേസ് ചെയ്തിരുന്നു അതിനെ നമ്മൾ തളരാതെ പേഴ്സിസ്റ്റൻസ്ലി പേഴ്സിസ്റ്റൻ്റ് ആയിട്ട് നമ്മളതിനെ മാനേജ് ചെയ്ത് നമ്മളിങ്ങനെ വന്നു അതുകൊണ്ട് സ്റ്റാർട്ടപ്പ് ജേണി എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് ഒരിക്കലും ഇമ്പോസിബിൾ ആയിട്ടുള്ളൊരു കാര്യമല്ല പോസിബിളാണ് നമ്മളതിന് വേണ്ടി പരിശ്രമവും വളരെ നല്ലൊരു പാഷൻ പാഷൻ എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് നമുക്കുണ്ടായിരിക്കണം പിന്നെ അതുപോലെ തന്നെ നമ്മുടെ പല മൈൻഡ് സെറ്റുകളെയും നമ്മൾ മാറ്റേണ്ടതായിട്ടുണ്ടായിരിക്കും ചില ഈ ഒരു സ്റ്റാർട്ടപ്പ് ജേണിയിൽ ഞാൻ മനസ്സിലാക്കിയിട്ടുള്ള പല കാര്യങ്ങളും ഈ സ്റ്റാർട്ടപ്പ് ജേണി കൊണ്ട് ഞാൻ അങ്ങനെ കുറേ മൈൻഡ് സെറ്റുകൾ ഉണ്ടായിരുന്നു എല്ലാം മാറ്റി ഇപ്പോൾ സാർ പറഞ്ഞൊരു ഹൻ മൈ മൈൻഡ് സെറ്റ് എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞില്ലേ അതേപോലെ തന്നെ ആ മൈൻഡ് സെറ്റുകൾ പലരും പലതും നമ്മുടെ നമ്മ നമുക്കുണ്ടായിരിക്കും അതെല്ലാം ചേഞ്ച് ചെയ്യേണ്ടതായിട്ടുണ്ട് എനിവേ ഐ എം വൺസ് അഗെയിൻ താങ്ക്യൂ എവരി വൺ ഫോർ ദിസ് വണ്ടർഫുൾ ഇവൻറ്റ് താങ്ക് യു Thank you sir your journey was really intriguing I request Mr Jimmy Joseph alumni entrepreneur and CEO of Can Europe Studies and Options Abroad to speak a few words on his entrepreneurial experience Good afternoon uh, respected for the RGP Gurian Principal SB College Chief Guest uh, Mr. R. Madhav Chandran, former President of KMA, Director of BIMS Dr. Thomas Vergis, the award winner Sunny Jacob, Startup Entrepreneur Bastin Thomas and Francis and the students of MBA department, the award winners of the business plan. Moonu Vakil Paranyala Yenike Sandosham Abhimanam Nanni. ഇതാണുള്ളത് സന്തോഷം എന്ന് വെച്ച് കഴിഞ്ഞാൽ അവാർഡ് കിട്ടുന്നത് സന്തോഷമാണ് അത് എസ് ബി കോളേജിൻ്റെ നൂറാമത്തെ വർഷം അവാർഡ് കിട്ടുന്നത് അതിലേറെ സന്തോഷമാണ് നമ്മുടെ പ്രിൻസിപ്പൾ പറഞ്ഞതുപോലെ മാത്രമല്ല ഞാൻ ഫോർത്ത് ബാച്ചിലായതും എനിക്കൊരു സന്തോഷമാണ് കാരണം ഈ രണ്ടായിരത്തി ഇരുപത്തി രണ്ടിൽ രണ്ടായിരത്തി പതിനെട്ട് തുടങ്ങിയതാണ് എൻ്റെ കമ്പനി രണ്ടായിരത്തി ഇരുപത്തി രണ്ടിൽ എനിക്കത് അവാർഡ് കിട്ടുമ്പം ഒത്തിരി അഭിമാനത്തോടും സന്തോഷത്തോടും കൂടി തന്നെ എനിക്കത് വാങ്ങിക്കാൻ സാധിക്കും രണ്ട് വർഷം മുമ്പൊക്കെ ആയിരുന്നെങ്കിൽ കോവിഡിൻ്റെയും ഫ്ലഡിൻ്റെയും ഒക്കെ കാലത്തായിരുന്നെങ്കിൽ അത്ര ഒരു ധൈര്യത്തോടെ എനിക്ക് വേദി നിൽക്കാൻ പറ്റുമോ ആയിരുന്നോ എന്നുള്ള ഒരു സംശയവുമുണ്ട് അപ്പം ഒത്തിരി സന്തോഷം നിറഞ്ഞ ഒരു ദിവസമാണ് നൂറാം വർഷത്തിൽ എസ് ബി നിന്ന് ഈ അവാർഡ് കരസ്ഥമാക്കാനായിട്ട് അഭിമാനം എന്താണെന്ന് വെച്ച് കഴിഞ്ഞാൽ പഠിച്ച കലാലയത്തിൽ നിന്ന് ഒരു അവാർഡ് ലഭിക്കുക തീർത്തും അഭിമാനകരമായ കാര്യം തന്നെയാണ് അതിന് ഞങ്ങളുടെ ബാച്ചിലുള്ള ഓൺടർപ്രണേഴ്സിൽ നിന്ന് എന്നെ തിരഞ്ഞെടുത്തതിൽ എം ബി എ ഡിപ്പാർട്ട്മെൻറ്റിനോടും ഡയറക്ടറിനോടും ഫാക്കൾട്ടി മെമ്പേഴ്സിനോടും സ്റ്റുഡൻറ്റ് കോർഡിനേറ്റേഴ്സിനോടുമുള്ള നന്ദി ആദ്യം തന്നെ അറിയിക്കുന്നു സെയിൻ ബഗ്മാൻസ് കോളേജിൻ്റെ എം ബി എ ഡിപ്പാർട്ട്മെൻറ്റ് നമ്മുടെ യൂണിവേഴ്സിറ്റിയിൽ എം ബി എ ഡിപ്പാർട്ട്മെൻറ്റ് വരുന്നതിന് മുൻപ് തന്നെ തുടങ്ങിയ ഡിപ്പാർട്ട്മെൻറ്റാണ് അപ്പം നന്ദി പറയേണ്ടത് വിഷ്ണറീസായ അന്നത്തെ പ്രിൻസിപ്പൽമാർ മുതലുള്ള എല്ലാവരോടും എൻ്റെ ഫാക്കൾട്ടി ഇൻചാർജ് ആയിരുന്ന സി ബി സാറ് എച്ച് ഒ ഡി സോണി സാറ് മാത്യു സാറ് ജോയിച്ചൻ സാറ് എൻ്റെ സ്ഥാപനം ബ്ലസ് ചെയ്ത സ്ക്രിയ സ്രാമ്പിക്കൽ അച്ഛന് അച്ഛൻ അന്നൊരു പത്ത് വർഷത്തെ പ്രൊജക്ഷനാണ് പറഞ്ഞത് അപ്പോൾ അഞ്ചാമത്തെ വർഷമായി അത്യാവശ്യം അഭിമാനത്തോടു കൂടി തന്നെ നിങ്ങൾക്ക് നിൽക്കാൻ പറ്റുന്നുണ്ട് എന്നുള്ളൊരു കാര്യവും കൂടെ പറയും നന്ദി പറയുമ്പം എല്ലാവരോടും നന്ദി പറയേണ്ടതുണ്ട് എൻ്റെ വൈഫും കുട്ടിയും ഒക്കെ ഉണ്ട് എല്ലാ ബിസിനസ്സിനും സ്റ്റാർട്ടിങ് ഒരു സ്ട്രഗിളിങ് ടൈമുണ്ട് അതൊക്കെ അവർ ഒരു നല്ല ജോലിയിൽ നിന്ന് കോർപ്പറേറ്റ് ജോലിയിൽ നിന്ന് രാജി വെച്ച് അങ്ങനെ ഒരു പ്രസ്ഥാനം തുടങ്ങുമ്പോഴുള്ള ബുദ്ധിമുട്ടുകളൊക്കെ കൂടെ നിന്ന് സപ്പോർട്ട് ചെയ്തതിനുള്ള നന്ദി അതുകൊണ്ട് തന്നെ അവരും ഇന്ന് ഈ മീറ്റിങ്ങിലുണ്ട് എൻ്റെ പാർട്ട്ണർ ജിജോ എസ് ബി കോളേജിലെ തന്നെ ബർസാർ അച്ഛനായിരുന്ന ശ്രീ ജോൺ ചാവറ അച്ഛൻ ആദ്യകാല ലീഡ്സൊക്കെ തരികയും മാതാപിതാക്കളോട് പേഴ്സണൽ ബന്ധമുണ്ടായിരുന്ന അദ്ദേഹം തീർച്ചയായും ജിമ്മിയെ പോയി കാനൂറിൽ പോയി കാണ് നിങ്ങളുടെ 
പ്രശ്നങ്ങൾക്കൊക്കെ ഒരു സൊല്യൂഷൻ കിട്ടുമെന്ന് പറയുകയും അങ്ങനെ മാതാപിതാക്കൾ വരികയും ആ പേരൻസൊക്കെ ഇന്ന് ഞങ്ങളുടെ വലിയ അംബാസിഡേഴ്സായിട്ട് മാറുകയൊക്കെ ചെയ്തു മാത്രമല്ല നമ്മൾ എന്നിൽ തന്നെ നമ്മളിൽ വിശ്വസിച്ച് നമ്മുടെ ഡയറക്ടറിൻ്റെ മോനൊക്കെ ഞങ്ങളുടെ ഒരു കസ്റ്റമർ ആവുകയൊക്കെ ചെയ്തത് ഒത്തിരി അഭിമാനത്തോടു കൂടി ഇതിൻ്റെ മുൻ ഡയറക്ടറായ ജേക്കബ് തോമസിൻ്റെയൊക്കെ മക്കൾ നമ്മൾ വഴി പോകാനൊക്കെ ഉള്ള ഒരു കാരണമായത് ഒത്തിരി അഭിമാനത്തോടെ തോന്നുന്നു മാത്രമല്ല എസ് ബി കോളേജിൻ്റെ പ്രിൻസിപ്പൾ റജി അച്ഛനും ഒക്കെ നൽകുന്ന സപ്പോർട്ട് വലുതാണ് എല്ലാ ഡിപ്പാർട്ട്മെൻറ്റ് ഹെഡ്സിനോടും ഈ എസ് ബി കോളേജിലെ എല്ലാ ഡിപ്പാർട്ട്മെൻറ്റിലും ഞങ്ങൾ പ്രസൻറ്റേഷനൊക്കെ ചെയ്തിട്ടുണ്ട് എസ് ബി കോളേജ് ഞങ്ങളുടെ ഒരു വലിയ മാർക്കറ്റുമാണ് എസ് ബി കോളേജ് തന്നെയാണ് എന്നെ പഠിപ്പിച്ചതും ബിസിനസ്സിൽ വിജയിപ്പിച്ചതും എന്ന് എനിക്ക് അഭിമാനത്തോട് പറയാം അതുകൊണ്ട് എത്തും തീർത്തും അർഹമായ ഒരു അവാർഡ് തന്നെയാണ് എന്ന് ഞാൻ ഉത്തമ വിശ്വാസത്തോടും ബോധ്യത്തോടും കൂടി തന്നെയാണ് ഇത് വാങ്ങുന്നത് എൻ്റെ ടീച്ചേഴ്സിനോട് സ്റ്റുഡൻസിനോട് സ്റ്റുഡൻസിൻ്റെ പേരൻസിന് ഇങ്ങനെ സ്റ്റുഡൻസും പേരൻസുമാണ് ശരിക്കും നമ്മുടെ ഏറ്റവും വലിയ സപ്പോർട്ടേഴ്സ് അല്ലെങ്കിൽ ബ്രാൻഡ് അംബാസിഡേഴ്സ് എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് ഇന്ന് ഓവർസീസ് എജ്യൂക്കേഷൻ ഇന്നൊരു വലിയ മാർക്കറ്റ് തന്നെയായി മാറി ഒരു സാഹചര്യത്തിൽ ബിഗ് പ്ലെയേഴ്സ് ഒത്തിരി ഉള്ളിടത്ത് എങ്ങനെ കാൻ യൂറോപ്പ് പോലുള്ളൊരു ന്യൂജൻ പ്രസ്ഥാനം നിൽക്കുന്നു എന്നുള്ളത് എൻ്റെ ഒരു വലിയ ഉദാഹരണം ഞങ്ങളുടെ സ്റ്റുഡൻസും നമ്മുടെ പേരൻസും നൽകുന്ന സപ്പോർട്ട്സാണ് അപ്പം ഇതിലേക്ക് നമ്മളെ നയിക്കാനുള്ള കാരണങ്ങൾ ഞാനൊരു അധ്യാപകനായിരുന്നു ഒരു ട്രെയിനറായിരുന്നു അതുകൊണ്ട് നമ്മൾ ബിഗ് പ്ലെയേഴ്സിൽ നിന്ന് വ്യത്യസ്തമായിട്ട് നമ്മൾ ഇൻഡിവിജ്വലൈസ്ഡ് കൗൺസിലിങ് ഓരോ കൺട്രിയുടെയും ഡീറ്റെയിൽഡ് പ്രസൻറ്റേഷൻ വെച്ച് ഒരു വൺ അവറിനോളം കുട്ടികളെയും പേരൻസിനെയും ഒക്കെ ഇരുത്തി കൗൺസിൽ ചെയ്യുന്ന ഒരു സിസ്റ്റത്തിലേക്കും അത് ഡീറ്റെയിൽഡായിട്ട് ഇവർക്ക് നമ്മുടെ സ്റ്റാഫ് ആദ്യ കാലങ്ങളിലൊക്കെ അഞ്ചര ആകുമ്പം ഓഫീസിൽ പോകാൻ ഇരുന്നിരുന്നതിൽ നിന്ന് ഇന്ന് പത്തര ആകുമ്പോൾ ഇന്നലെ വൈകുന്നേരം രാത്രി പത്തരയ്ക്ക് വരെ വിസ ചെയ്യുന്ന ലെവലിലേക്ക് അവർ സ്വയം വളരുന്ന നിലയിൽ ഞങ്ങളുടെ കമ്പനിക്ക് വളരാൻ പറ്റി എന്നുള്ളത് വലിയ അഭിമാനകരമായ കാര്യമായിട്ട് ഞാൻ കരുതുന്നു ഇത്രയും ഒരു ഫൈവ് ഇയറിനുള്ളിൽ രണ്ടായിരത്തി ഇരുപത്തി മൂന്ന് മാർച്ച് അഞ്ചാം തീയതി ഞങ്ങൾ അഞ്ച് വർഷം സെലിബ്രേറ്റ് ചെയ്യുകയാണ് അപ്പം എൻ്റെ ആദ്യത്തെ അവാർഡാണ് അത് ഞാൻ പഠിച്ച ബർഗ്മൻസ് ഇൻസ്റ്റിറ്റ്യൂട്ട് ഓഫ് മാനേജ്മെൻറ്റ് സ്റ്റഡീസിൽ നിന്ന് അത് വാങ്ങാൻ സാധിച്ചു എന്നുള്ളത് വലിയ അഭിമാനകരമായ കാര്യമാണ് ഈ അവാർഡ് കൂടുതലായിട്ടുള്ള ഉയർച്ചയ്ക്ക് ഞങ്ങളുടെ ബിസിനസ്സിനെയും ഞങ്ങളുടെ പ്രസ്ഥാനത്തെയും മാറ്റട്ടെ എന്നുള്ള ഒരു പ്രാർത്ഥനയോടുകൂടി ഞാൻ നിർത്തുന്നു താങ്ക് യു താങ്ക് യു വെരി മച്ച് താങ്ക് യു സർ ഫോർ യുവർ വാല്യുബിൾ വേർഡ്സ് ഗ്രാറ്റിറ്റ്യൂഡ് മേക്ക് സെൻസ് ഓഫ് അവർ പാസ് ബ്രിങ്സ് പീസ് ഫോർ ടുഡേ ആൻഡ് ക്രിയേറ്റ്സ് എ വിഷൻ ഫോർ ടുമോറോ ഐ നൗ റിക്വസ്റ്റ് റവറൻ ഫാദർ റെജി പി കുര്യൻ പ്രിൻസിപ്പൽ എസ് ബി കോളേജ് ടു ഹാൻഡ് ഓവർ a token of love to the chief guest mr ahmad chandran i invite ms ani chaku faculty coordinator Burke Empresario 2022 to propose the vote of thanks. Honorable dignitaries on and off the dais, faculty members, guest invitees and dear students, good afternoon to one and all. As we come to the end of Burke Empresario, I am proud and privileged to thank the esteemed personalities who have gathered here. BIMS always acknowledges the people who want to change the world. The institute realized that the ultimate solution for the development of our economy lies in entrepreneurship. BIMS honored entrepreneurs from Kerala not only because they strive to be success but rather to be of value. Bearing this wonderful doctrine of entrepreneurship, let me venture into my responsibility. First, I would like to thank our chief guest, Mr. R. Madhav Chandra, former president KMA, for his enlightening words of knowledge. We thank you, sir. I would like to thank the visionary leader of our college, Reverend Father Reji P. Kurian, Principal of SB College, for your esteemed presence and the inspiring words. Thank you, Father. Now, let me thank the icons of today's program, 
First, I would like to thank Mr. Sunny Jacob, Director, St. Mary's Rubbers Private Limited. SMR is the largest and reputed manufacturer and exporter of gloves based on Kanyarapalli since 2002. Sir, your presence made this meeting a meaningful one. Our gratitude to you, sir. We would like to thank the winner of Startup Award, Mr. Francis Davy, CEO, Linways Technologies and Private Limited, Software and App Company. We thank you, sir. <laughs> BIMS is celebrating 28 years, extending knowledge and changing lives. To celebrate the Silver Jubilee year batch, we have decided to honor an alumni entrepreneur from the fourth batch 1998-2000. The fourth BIM Silver Jubilee Memorial Alumni Entrepreneur is Mr. Jimmy Joseph. He is a successful entrepreneur and the MD of Can Euro Studies and Options Abroad. Thank you, sir, for your presence. <laughs> My gratitude to all the dignitaries, family members, delegates, representatives and well-wishers from all the award-winning companies, business plan competition winners, press and media. I also wish to thank our director, Dr. Thomas Vergis, head of the department, Professor Sony Joseph, faculty coordinators, Dr. Binsai Sebastian, Ms. Merlin B. Jose, Reverend Father Sigimon Srambikkel, all the faculty members and supporting staff for their noble support to make this event a grand success. <laughs> I would like to place our deep sense of appreciation to the student coordinator Anne Mary Matthew, Anju Krishna and Birth Empresario 2002 students team for their commitment and noble service to make this program a remarkable event in the history of BIMS. <laughs> Last but not the least, I would like to express my gratitude to all my dear students of both 27th and 28th batch of our institute for making this event a memorable one. Thank you all. Have a nice day. Thank you, ma'am. I would like to extend our sincere gratitude to you too. Let's all rise for the national anthem. Janagana mana adhinayaka jayahe Bharata bhagya vidhata Punjab Sindhu Gujarat Maratha Kravida Utkala Banga Vindya Himachala Yamuna Ganga Utchala Jaladhita Ranga Tava Shubha Name Jage Tava Shubha Ashish Mange Gahe Tava Jaya Gatha Jana Gana Mangala Dayak Jaya He Bharat Bhagya Vidhata Jaya He Jaya He A true entrepreneur is a doer, not a dreamer. With that, we have come to an end of Burke Entrepreneurs Day 2022. Once again, I would like to congratulate all of you for your success and thank you all for your cooperation and involvement. Let me invite guest invitees, faculty guides, awardees and their families and co-team members of Burke Entrepreneurs Day 2022 for the photo session. <laughs>